Happy New Year everyone. This is the Goodly Christian Witch. Today is December 31st, 2013, soon to become New Year's Day 2014. So again, Happy New Year's. Anyway, this video is about the Black Swan event, the imminent Black Swan event approaching video that we made and posted on December 27, 2013. And that uh, black swan event has occurred rather quickly. It occurred on December 29th, 2013. The uh, train station explosion, railway station, train station explosion in Volgograd, Russia, uh, that there's there was a, originally about uh, 17, 16, 17 people that were killed, and now uh, it's the it's been uh, up to 31 people that have been killed in this horrible event, and this was uh, attributed to Islamic terrorists. And as we know, that maybe uh, there's there's different factions, Sunni and Shiite that, uh, you know, there may be some discrepancies there, but the point is the Black Swan event has occurred. This is the sort of Reichstag moment. Uh, who's running the whole thing? You know, the speculation of who's really running the world and is there a conspiracy? At this point, People are just doing the best they can, I suppose, and people are, uh, you know, finding their loyalties and sticking with their loyalties and trying to be strong for their own families, culture, religions, and peoples. So when I say Reichstag moment, I don't really mean to say uh, who or what is being staged. I'm not going to have that argument at this moment, but I'm using Reichstag event uh, more to mean that this is the this is an, a very important event. It's the Black Swan moment. This is it. Russia is where the World War III that was talked about in uh, Morals and Dogma, you know, where it's going to be Islam against Christians for the purpose of bringing out Luciferianism. This is that World War III event because it does, you know, the, the Morals and Dogma talks about World War I surrounding Russia uh, and, you know, Britain and those kinds of uh, things. And then a linchpin in Germany for World War II, which was obvious. And then it described a uh, Islamic versus Christian and also bringing out the atheists versus just religious people and to bring in Luciferianism from all of that. But this is the beginning of, of that because World War III is not really nation against nation. It's more like in the uh, Crusades, more, more, more like the Crusades fighting over the Holy Land and religions fighting one another. And factions within factions, like there's the... Uh, there's the Orthodox, Eastern Orthodox religions of Christendom. Of course, there's a <clears throat> excuse me, Roman Catholic Church. <clears throat> and there's also in Islam the Sunni and Shiites. And even among uh, you know, Buddhists are different types. There's different types of philosophies that get very, very precise. So this is important because um, uh, President uh, Vladimir Putin of, of Russia and uh, Pope Francis uh, have very recently uh, paid homage to the, the, they're paying homage here to a Madonna uh, icon that uh, is more of an uh, icon of the of the Holy Mother and there's been a lot of uh, solidarity between the Roman Catholic Church and 
uh, the Russian Orthodox Church and the Eastern Orthodox Church uh, between uh, Pope Francis uh, and Mr. Putin. So Christendom is coming together just as uh, I suppose uh, Islam is coming together. You know, People are again trying to find their loyalties. And Mr. Putin has been very strong regarding this uh, situation with the Volgograd train station blast. He's vowed to, um, according to Fox News, annihilate the terrorists. And uh, I wouldn't underestimate Mr. Putin, or Pope Francis for that matter, and they're, uh, they have a solidarity here. Interesting, I just noticed that Volgograd, G-O-G -G in the middle there, like um, Pope Francis's um, last name, Regoglio, Gog, Magog. We'll see what we shall see again. But it's interesting, and this has begun. Thank you for watching and listening. This is the Goodly Christian Witch. Take care, and God bless.